Ever wonder where the rosary came from? In this video, we're gonna break down the three biggest questions that people have on the rosary. We're Katie and Drew Taylor, and we're passionate about equipping you to be a great Christian leader. If you're new here, make sure to hit subscribe and check out the links and the resources in the description below. All right, the first question that we get on the rosary is, where did the rosary come from? So the history of the rosary dates all the way back to the third century, where monks in Egypt, known as the Desert Fathers, used to pray all 150 psalms, and they would use bags with little rocks or even ropes in order to keep track. This continued all the way until 1214, where it was believed that St. Dominic received a vision from Mary that detailed out the prayers of the rosary and kind of the format that we have today that has really continued to progress similar to the way the books of the Bible were put together um, until what we have today. Awesome. Uh, question number two that we get is where do these prayers come from and are they biblical? Well, the first prayer we see is the side of the cross in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. It's a profession of our basic beliefs, and we have a whole video on why we pray that and how we do it. Uh, the next prayer is the Apostles' Creed, which is derived from the apostles themselves, although not directly biblical. We have written documentation come, citing from the fourth century, uh, and it is a detailed, more detailed summary of what we believe to be true in our faith. The next prayer is the Our Father, which we see in Matthew chapter 6 and Luke chapter 11. Uh, the next main prayer of the rosary is the Hail Mary, which definitely check out our video that breaks down line by line where every word comes from and why we pray it. Uh, but we see that derived directly from scripture in Luke chapter 1, verses 26 through 56. All right. Final question we get is, how do I pray the rosary? So, if you have your rosary, what you're gonna do is start here at the cross. You're gonna make the sign of the cross and then say the Apostles' Creed. After that, you've got a big bead, which is gonna be in Our Father, followed by three little beads where you'll say three Hail Marys, traditionally said for an increase in faith, hope, and love. And then next is going to be a glory bead. After that, you've got five sets of an Our Father and then 10 Hail Marys. Um, so those will be five decades, they call those. And you'll meditate on one of the mysteries of Christ. There are four sets of mysteries known as the joyful mysteries, the sorrowful mysteries, the glorious mysteries, and the luminous mysteries. And then, so you'll meditate on each of those as you uh, pray through the 10 Hail Marys. And then you'll say a glory be at the end and a Fatima prayer. Once you finish the all five decades, then you'll get back to the beginning. And then you'll say a Hail Holy Queen and a couple of closing prayers. Awesome. So our question for you is what other questions do you have about the rosary? I put this in the comments below and let us engage with you. We would love to answer those questions. And hey, we may make a whole nother video about this. This is where the learning and the discussion happens. So make sure to get in on that. Yeah. And definitely check out the next videos in the series where we'll break down the individual prayers. Uh, if you like this, uh, you found value from it, then hit subscribe, share it with a friend. It really helps us get the word out. Yeah, like the video as well and know that we're committed to helping you reach new heights and we'll be praying for you until next time.